Hello, in this video I will show SprutCam possibilities for the continuous 5-axis milling. Uh, so if you have SprutCam uh, with the SprutCam configuration with uh, module Vox operation, then uh, this uh, page, this operation must be available on your SprutCam. Uh, exists uh, SprutCam configuration without this operation, then it is disabled. So, the machining page, creating 5 axis. This, all this is module Vox operation. So, uh, module Vox, no, module Vox is uh, external kernel in SprutCam. It is uh, developed, uh, so, and the manual for this kernel you can find in the main menu all programs uh, Sprut technology SprutCam 7 module box manual I open it it is huge manual it contains a lot of topics and uh, when you use uh, and I recommend uh, to read it uh, to understand the all possibilities of module box operation in SportCam. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, uh, it is not possible to show all possibilities in a small uh, presentation. Well, so if you have the configuration with SprutCam configuration with module box and also if you have a look on the manual, after that I recommend you to research the example project that included in SprutCam. Uh, so there to find it, Great. click open project and uh, libraries documents sprutcam sprutcam version 7 projects examples after that uh, here we can find 5d milling open it and uh, for example this uh, this project and uh, some uh, another project there are the projects with module works operation uh, for example, let's uh, open this blade point SDC project. Okay, uh, in this example, in this example, uh, we use uh, VHT800 machine. This machine, uh, first two operation, it is SpurtCam operation roughing waterline from one side and from another side and the last free operation it's the module box operation uh, let's look on it in simulation and uh, after that uh, we can research how it is done well make tool pass invisible uh, one moment uh, also for 5 axis milling I always recommend to use a simulation method voxel 5d and uh, uh, this parameter is used for to calculate the workpiece between operation and there is another switch uh, of simulation I recommend to select voxel 5d also it is on the simulate uh, simulation page well, let's now uh, start the simulation. Mm, what's wrong with it? Okay, the speed too slow. Well, this is a simple roughing waterline for the first. And uh, the next operation is rotation, uh, after rotation. Well, so after the first indexing machining, the, we have this workpiece. Make the tool invisible. So, 
The next operation, the next operation is uh, five axis multi-surface operation. It is uh, module box operation, five axis multi-surface, multi-surface. Okay. Uh, well, it uh, generates the tool pass like this one. Make a generates something like this and this is the tool pass if I make the machine invisible okay L let's have a look on the parameters of this operation to understand uh, how it was defined go back to machining make machine invisible it is not interesting for us here and uh, then mm, click parameters okay uh, all module works operation uh, have the same tool page like in another operation in sportcam federate page is the same tool path template the same so the surface path this is module box, uh, module box page. Uh, so we can we can see that the for the current operation set the uh, calculation based on the surfaces. It is possible to use triangle mesh or swarf machining. Uh, well, uh, the pattern is morphed between two curves to define the curves. I click first and we can see highlighted first curve. The edges from the model is selected as the first curve. Click cancel. Second, we can find that the second uh, curves list is also defined here. So our operation, our operation generates the tool pass from this curve to this one. Uh, well, also the next drive surfaces. Click drive surfaces, and also we can select some surfaces here. Uh, I click cancel, drive surfaces again. Okay, so in my operation, define it this morph curve this and this is drive surfaces click parameters again so the tolerance uh, and step is here well this uh, surface pass uh, defined the low uh, how the curves going along the along the surfaces the next page tool axis control tool axis control on this page it is possible to define the way how the tool axis will be changed well there are three way three axis four axis five axis we have five axis and uh, a maximum angle step is defined for the and uh, tool axis will be tilted uh, relative to the cutting direction so it means that the uh, tool axis depends on the machine surface cutting direction well and uh, there are two parameters lead angle and tilt angle well right now it is zero and so we have we have the tool pass uh, like this one uh, so the surface is there is a roll and going back okay let's say we'll change for example lead angle and set uh, 30 degrees uh, it is possible to define positive or negative angle here 
set it and recalculate. Well, uh, not all passes calculated, but uh, let's have a look on the result. So right now we can see that the we can see that the tool is inclined on 30 degrees. And so on. Well, uh, what is the. I set lead angle to be zero again and set tilt angle, the same 30 degrees. It is inclined of the tool and recalculate the tool pass. Well, let's have a look. So, right now, the tool is inclined, is inclined along the axis. Okay. So, the tool axis control page tool axis control page uh, define the law how the tool axis will be located uh, go back set to be zero and the next page is the gauge check uh, gauge check uh, define uh, the checking uh, part checking for the tool so we can disable the checking anyway uh, then uh, it is possible that uh, tool will uh, cut the part for example I can enable the tool checking enable the this uh, part of the tool what I would like to check what I would like to do if collision is detected for example if we have uh, some collision then we will retract tool along the tool axis it is possible to incline tool away it is possible to report collision and so on and also in this step uh, it is defined what uh, surfaces will be checked and uh, all surfaces is added uh, to the list so to define the surfaces for check click this button and select it from the face so I can define for example an another checking uh, so if the holder is checked uh, is colli collision with the holder and with this part then I would like for example to uh, tilt the tool and uh, define the same surfaces ok and parameters max tilt angle for example 45 degrees ok so it is possible to define different uh, to define different uh, checking laws. Let's play with it. Try to recalculate. I think it will not have a matter uh, with my example. Okay. Mm, well, the next is the links clearance area and uh, go check and I will disable it and go back to the links the way how the tool pass is connected for example 
I can say that the clearance area is the cylinder with the radius 200 millimeters. Cylinder is parallel to Y axis. Okay, so and a lot of parameters to define the lead ins and lead outs. Well, the next page is roughing. Uh, right now, in this uh, example, uh, the toolpath is generated without roughing. Uh, but I can, for example, enable multi passes and uh, roughing passes, for example, set uh, free layer and spacing, uh, for example. Three millimeters, okay. and the sorting method. Okay. Enable multi passes, okay. and recalculate the tool pass. Tool path calculation needs some time. Well, let's have a look. So, right now we have three, uh, three cuts to, for the roughing. So, if I disable it, then we will have. And there is a lot of another roughing methods. And the last Fedray control, Excel shift and different parameters. So, uh, that's only quick uh, tour uh, along the module box operation and uh, I recommend you to play with it and read the manual. Uh, so, thank you for your attention. Bye.